This one make my Oh my oh. gosh, dude! <laughs> we did it! We found fish out here in the middle of nowhere! What's going on YouTube today? I'm out here gonna fish the Harris chain. I haven't fished the Harris chain in probably a year, but I'm not really coming out to fish. I got these new graphs. I want to try to find some offshore structure and I really want to expand upon my fishing game, I guess you could say. I want to start learning how to fish offshore instead of always just fishing shallow grass. I'm a South Florida guy, grew up fishing canals, Okeechobee in like five feet of water, okay? I've never really had much experience fishing offshore grass, shell beds, brush, any of that. So in order to be competitive up here in Central Florida, you have to be versatile. You gotta be able to fish all this different stuff. I can't just be shallow all year long. So what I need to do is learn how to use these graphs. And I just got these graphs. They're Humminbird 899s. Let me show you guys what I got here. I got one for the console. I got one for the bow up front, and then I'm gonna get the 360 imaging. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna try to start learning some of this offshore stuff. I'm fishing today. Got my buddy Christian with me. So this kid is an absolute hammer. If he smokes me again, I'm gonna be pissed. Because last time I sat back, if you watched that Kissimmee video, I sat back and watched him crack like 20 something pounds, and I watched and caught a dink or two, okay? Then he went back out there during the ABA like two days later and caught 34 pounds. So he'll tell you all about that later. But we're out here, we're on the Harris chain, like I said, behind me. And we're just gonna go and see if we can't find some fish guys with these graphs. So hope you all enjoy this video. Let's roll some of this footage. That's a fish. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's a good fish, dude. Both of them, get them. I'll have you get them. Nice. All right, man. First Harris chain fish of the morning, dude. He's got a coal hole right there. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice, beautiful fish. Good fish, man. Smoked it on the jackhammer chatterbait i got a missile what's that called shockwave. missile shockwave for the trailer there you go i've been throwing it for about five minutes now it's the first good fish all right man that's awesome lake yeah but like pods of it oh really there's one I mean, it's not a giant by any means, but he's smoked it for once. He's coming right to the boat. Oh, that is a better fish. Better fish than I thought, dude. Nice one. There you go, dude. I'm catching good size, man. Nice fatties. All good ones on this chatterbait, man. I haven't caught a dink yet. Solid fish. Cool. I don't really realize how awesome that spot lock troll motor is until you go up with someone that's got it. My buddy Nick's got it. Uh, Witten, the guy I crappie fish with. His crappie fishing, just so you know, is like, really? Nice one, dude. All right. Getting a little better. Another one peeing? Are they peeing? I thought I saw that one peeing. Yeah, he's peeing. Look at that. Yeah. Nice, man. Getting it deep, too. Three fish in 10 minutes, not bad. Money. He's blown his compressor now, I think, like two or three times. There's a fish. Oh, that's a, not a bad one. Bigger when he yeah, I know. When his, when his mouth came up. All right, guys. Another one on the jack hammer. Sweet. Get him. Biggin. 
What is it with those little guys liking that little worm there? All these fish are starch white. Nice, beautiful fish though. I hear a freaking fit. That's a fit. Giant, giant here, guys. Yeah. Ice cold, man. That's the ticket. You gotta let it drop probably make you sick if you really knew how many big fish like swam behind your bait and looked at it and were like nah like this one right here oh yeah giant it's a giant dude yeah get the net <laughs> <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> so this is like day one of learning how to use my graph. I got this Navionics chip in here. Basically, it shows me all the contours of this lake. I'm a South Florida guy, okay? I don't fish deep water. I grew up fishing canals and Okeechobee, which is like five feet the most. So I know nothing about this offshore stuff out here on the Harris chain. So if I could catch a big fish idling around these contours, finding some offshore stuff, it's going to totally make my day. So that's what I'm doing now. Let me show you guys what I'm doing here. So I'm just out here idling around. I got this new graph. This is a new hummingbird. And I'm looking for like these little holes. See like this point right here? I've been pulling up these points and then I'll check to see if there's offshore grass or any type of structure on there and then I'm going to start fishing. So if I pull up to one of these points, and, and find some offshore grass, I'm gonna fish it. If I catch a fish doing this, guys, it's gonna make my day. I think so, dude. This would make my oh my oh, gosh, dude! <laughs> we did it. We found fish out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh my gosh! This is making my entire day, dude. This is making my entire day. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! We did it, nice. dude. Out here in the middle of nowhere. I just got done saying if I catch a fish. Guys, look at this. South Florida boy here. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I just looked at my graph day one, practicing on my new graph. I'll talk to you guys about what I found earlier. We finally found some grass. <laughs> and this is the first fish I catch. Oh my gosh. My entire day has been made. That just made my entire day. I'm gonna put her in the well, get a picture with her later. Oh my God. We're gonna go ahead and call it a day here. You can't tell, but the wind out there started picking up. Started blowing what, 20 mile an hour? Yeah, it probably picked up to about 20. It was pretty hard to stay on those offshore fish. We were getting blown around. Yeah, we were good. getting we were getting tossed all over the lake, guys. And I'll be honest with you, we had no intention of fishing and, ca and catching a whole bunch of fish like we did today. We totally came out here and winged it. I called him last night. I said I just want to test out this new graph. Want to idle around and see if I can find fish using electronics. So if we catch fish, it's gonna be a plus. And today was absolutely crazy, man. We probably caught, what, 30 fish or yeah, so? Yeah, probably 30 fish, just all offshore fish on some offshore hydrilla, so. Yeah. Ricky whipped my butt, but I got they, him last time. He so got me last time. We're even now. And then, believe it or not, guys, I saved that video because he was already on those fish on Lake Kissimmee. I didn't want to post it because he had the ABA, and tell him what you did in the ABA. Yeah, in the ABA, I caught 34 pounds out of there, but, uh, I got beat. Somebody came in with 36, but only in Florida this time of year could you say you weighed in 34 pounds and you still got beat. Yeah, I mean the lake's just fishing really good right now. I knew coming in that I might get beat, but 34 pounds it's the bag of a lifetime, so can't complain about can't that. Can't complain, man. So like I said, guys, first time being out here on the Harris chain in months. Totally winged it. 
and we caught close to 20 pound bag today man really can't complain so all in all a good day guys i'm gonna go ahead and close the video out here as i always say thanks for checking out the videos if you're new to the channel do me a favor click that subscribe button down below if you like the video give me a thumbs up and until then we'll see you guys next time i feel good Woo!